Hi everybody, this is your plus size fashionista and I'm coming to you today with a fall haul. And these are things that I have purchased gearing up to this upcoming fall and winter, but mostly fall. So I'm going to get right into it. So the first two items that I want to show you are these nail polishes here. One is this one. This one, the name is Mystic Purple and it's a dark 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 purple and the other one is called what is this called it's called vampy which is like a dark maroon color and to get a better gist of the color I hope that you can see that good this is the dark purple and this one is the maroon color now this one is the LA girls um color craze gel it, it, it dries like a gel coat on top of it and it is super affordable you can get these at your local beauty supply store they even sell them at family dollar and i think they're like two dollars and this one right here um i don't know where i picked it up but i'm so glad i did it's just this gorgeous deep dark purple with a little bit of shimmer to it absolutely fabulous for fall so another two items that I wanted to show you was this makeup right here this is the Ruby Kisses matte lip lacquer um, it comes with that flat top and this is what it looks like on the skin and I also have it on my lips it is a beautiful dark burgundy-ish um, purple un purple tone um, matte lip gloss it is so adorable i absolutely love it and you know ruby kisses is super affordable um great for the fall when you want that dark vampyish look um and another makeup item is this right here this is the sweet tooth pro fusion i got this at five and below and it is this nine piece quad right here of um neutral colors gearing towards the fall and I love this uh, this color right here. I've just been grabbing to it, gravitating to it quite often because it's a nice mint, um, not Kelly green, but like an olive green type of color. And these are just great um, neutral colors for the fall. You need to go get this. It was a very, very affordable. And the very last item for the body is this right here. I got this from Bath and Body Works. Um, you know they always have some great smelling lotions and perfumes. But this one right here, it has, it's called, um, sorry, Pink Jasmine and Blackberry. It is, smells so good. The, I freaking love this stuff. Now, this stuff, when I purchased it, I was like, you know what, this is, too perfumey not perfumey but too heavy to wear in the summertime but it is perfect for the winter time because it has that great raspberry berry type of smell mm, i freaking love that stuff and i'm so glad i purchased it so let's get into the clothing items and i was trying to think should i do a try on hmm, why not so the very first item i wanted to show you is Everyone needs a staple sweater, a staple chunky sweater. You need a chunky sweater in your life. And um, I got this one from, of course, the thrift store. And I loved that beautiful yellowish tone with the green and navy blue plaid sweater. absolutely gorgeous 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 sweater and I do believe I got this sweater for two dollars at the thrift store you know I'm always getting stuff when it's half off so another thrifted item you know some of this stuff was from the thrift store you didn't know that right are we new we just met oh we didn't we just meet okay so another item that I got was these right here and if you know anything you know you have to get a pair of culottes, y'all. Culottes! Culottes! 
Yes, and not all the culottes. Corduroy culottes. Yes, I absolutely love them. I saw these and I was going crazy. And I paid $4.99 for these corduroy. You can't. <laughs> corduroy culottes. Yes, from the thrift store. Perfect for the fall. You can wear them with your ankle boots, your knee boots. Get it in, girl, with your culottes. Hey. So this next item here i know you're like what the what what the, the what what but look at this beautiful fall pattern of leaves and things like that And you know what I love about this dress? This particular dress right here was actually, someone actually made this. Okay, when I say made this, I meant somebody actually took the time to go buy some fabric and try to make themselves a dress. But I don't think they ever completed the task. And this is so, the style of this is so reminiscent of the 50s and 60s kind of mod style and I think I can put a little tweak on it to make it fit my fit myself and fit today's style but I really really loved it I think it's absolutely gorgeous especially with the pattern so another thrifted item was this fun looking polka dot dress bodycon dress Yes, yes, yes. Straight up 80s. But look at the stretch in this joint, y'all. Look at the look at the stretch all up in it. And I absolutely love how this looks. I loved how it looked on there. I was like, even if I can't wear it as a dress, honey, I will wear it as a shirt. I love me some polka dots. And nothing is cuter than black and white polka dots. So another thrifted item that I purchased was this army green trench jacket with belt and I try to make put some little fun to it by putting this um, trimming around one of the around one of the sleeves I got this from the fabric store just to make me look like I'm a general and just to give the jacket just a little me pizzazz so another item that I purchased not from the thrift store was this two-piece olive green skirt set now I I was kind of disappointed about this because it is so freaking thin 
even though it's long sleeve and it's turtleneck style, this is not really for the fall. This is for the beginning of the fall before that 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 chill get all up on your neck right right there. Yeah, that's what this is for. But I could not resist a bodycon skirt with a matching top and a gorgeous Kelly green. And my last item is I was trying to find me a oversized all black bag and I found this one. I found this one and I got this from Ross. Yes, sometimes I go to other stores than the thrift store. But what I loved about it is that it had this matching tote on the inside. And then this one is just like a big bucket bag with it has actually it has no compartments in it because all the compartments is in this removable tote but it does have snap closure and it does have functional pockets on the outside with these adorable tassels and I think I oh oh oh, oh I'm tripping okay so the the polka dot dress was three dollars the army jacket was $2.50. The two-piece set was actually $25. And this bag, this black bag, was um, $22. I think like $22 or $23 at Ross. And the dress, the homemade dress, that was actually $1. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, the jasmine lotion I got on sale for you know buy five for a certain amount and the polish were like two dollars a piece the lip gloss was like two dollars and of course the that nine piece quad was like three or five dollars one of those and that's basically it um i hope that you like seeing this whole video um you need to follow me as i'm going through my bariatric weight loss journey and also um if you want to know about this hair that I have on, this is the Delia. It's a wig. I will um, put the link of the very first video. Uh, the, I did two videos actually about this particular wig uh, down below if you're interested in what I have on. And I think that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please thumbs up the video. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video, especially if you like seeing hauls like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. I think I did a good job. I think I did a, a, a good job. Bye.